the channel for a overview of the Sims 4 My First Pet Stuff cast items. So before we get into this, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to EA for providing me with a code for early access so that I could review this for you guys. I know there are a lot of mixed opinions about this pack and I also have the same mixed opinions as everybody else, but I'm trying to be positive because some of it is exciting, some of it I feel like should have been with cats and dogs already but you know everybody's been talking about that and i just i just want to review i just want to show you guys what we get and that you guys be the judge so that's what we're going to do so i am pretty excited this is my current household well this is kind of like an older older version of my current household because we are much further along right now but this is the family that i grabbed down to uh, just kind of show you guys what we get so let's go ahead and start off with the adults so we get Two hairs, well, technically three hairs, but uh, let's go ahead and really quick. Ooh, I got some bad CC. I got to get out of here. Let's go ahead and go with the My First Pet Pack, and we'll go ahead and look at it. So we have this hairstyle here, which is just all salads. This kind of looks like a bit of a rocker type of style for some reason. I don't know, just like with all the layers and stuff. So you just get like solid colors with this one. So you got all your, your normal, you know, colors that you come with here. Then if you go over here, you get the same hairstyle, but it's got like crazy streaks in it. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I really like the one with all of the colors in it. Uh, I do like this color though. Like this color is so pretty. Like I wish I could do my hair that color. And then this one, ooh, this looks like Paramore. What is that girl's name? Haley Williams? That's what her hair looks like. Uh, so there are a few that I dig. I kind of like this one with the green in it as well because that's kind of like, I don't know, it just reminds me of like a witch and stuff. And you guys know I'm like really creepy and stuff. Uh, anyways. <laughs> and then there is this hairstyle, which I actually really, really enjoy. Like it looks really good on her. Maybe it's just my sim because she's like the most beautiful thing in the world, but I really like this. I normally don't use this kind of hair for my sims. I usually like, I don't know, longer hair. Not that there's anything wrong with shorter hair, but I usually just don't like the way it looks on my sims. But this, I like this on her. So I think we're going to go ahead and keep it. Pretty sure, do the males get a hairstyle? I'm pretty sure they do. This is hottie toddy right here. Like he's so cute. <laughs> just ignore me anyways so they have this hairstyle here which I'm not that big of a fan of it I don't know if I'll really use it but you never know you never know it might just not look good on him but it kind of just looks like messy bedhead or something but yeah I don't know if I would use it anymore than this 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 point right here but it's you know it's a it's a hair we got a hair um then I don't think the kids got any hairs so did they no, I think they got a hat. Okay, so I just gotta, I gotta talk to myself to remember what all we got. Uh, also, there is a t-shirt, I believe. So let's go ahead and go down the line here because it's just much easier. And I hate not having the, the four columns, but it's kind of acting up in my game. So I had to take it out. Uh, so we got this t-shirt here, which I actually really like this. This is cute. I like the colors a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Then we have one with like a bigger guy on it. Wait, is that a dog? And then that's like, oh, okay. It's a dog and a cat. Oh my God. I can't tell the difference. What is wrong with me? <laughs> then we also have this one right here, which is kind of interesting. Is it like supposed to be hamster style? Cause I mean, that's kind of what we got here, right? Then we've got this one here. That's kind of like a Dalmatian spots, but in color. Then, oh, and then we've got this one here who that is definitely a Dalmatian spotted one. And then what is this one? We've got this one. <gasps> I love this. I absolutely love this. I got a shirt for Christmas from my brother and my sister-in-law and it has the little cat that's peeking out, except it's uh, not as friendly because, you know, you pull down the pocket and it's, it's, it's showing you a finger that you probably don't want to see. Um, so this I love. I, I would definitely use this shirt like over and over. All of these shirts I mostly like, except for maybe like this one because it's like the hamster one. I don't know. I, I'm You never know. I might use it, but this shirt I definitely will use for sure. Okay, and then let's go check out the adult males. I believe they have the same exact shirt. Yes. Okay, so those colors kind of look nice on him, don't it? I kind of like the dog one for him. 
But yeah, he gets all the same ones except for the one that she is wearing, which is kind of strange, but okay. So we're going to go with the dog one for him. I kind of like this one. I really do. Like, I could definitely see myself using these shirts for sure. Um, let's go ahead and go to the kiddos. I believe they also have... Okay, they have a t-shirt. Do they have any outfits? This is not from there. I just want to get that off of there. Uh, okay, hey there. Um, <laughs> so we got this little t-shirt, and it's got the little hamster that's eating. He's a fat, fat hamster. Oh my god. I've never had a hamster in my life, like, ever. I have a guinea pig currently, but I've never had a hamster. My friend growing up did. And we got this one, and it kind of, I guess it's like a cat. It's got, like, the little cat ears. Then he also has the same shirts as the adults so they can kind of match. And I've noticed that it's kind of a theme that you can match like your entire family, which, you know, that's that's fine, I guess. Uh, let's get some pants on you. No, I don't like those pants. <laughs> really? Does it matter? Yes, it does. Let's give you these guys. Uh, I don't like those either. How about that? <laughs> so picky. Okay, I don't think they have hairs. I just want to double check. No. And then these are all obviously from other packs. So let's go ahead and move down the line to our cute little Juliet, who is actually a freaking child. No, she's like a teen in my current household now. My goodness, they grow up so fast. Um, so this one, they have this little hat here. And I think this is super cute. But again, I don't really use hats that often. But this is really cute because I like how it has the little ears and stuff. Uh, let's take a look at some of the, the colors we got here. We've got, looks like these are all cats. You can't really see it in Creativism because it's kind of like looking up. But it's it seems cute. I just don't know how often I will use it, like I said, because I don't use hats at all. So these are like the dog ones. And we've got a red one, a Clifford, the big red dog. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> and we've got this one, which is really cute. I kind of like the cat ones for her, but there's really nothing that matches her outfit. Uh, so we might have to change her outfit. But let's see, which one should we give her? Should we give her Clifford the big red dog? Or should we just give her a regular little dog? No, I think she looks better with the cats. Because this is really what matters. Uh, so we're just going to give her that. And there are no new clothes for the kiddos, unfortunately. But those are all of the items for the Sims. And to be honest, I kind of like most of them. I like that hair on her and I do love the t-shirts that they all got. So let's move on to the stars of the show which is the cats and the dogs. So we're going to start with this dog here who is not in my current household neither is the cat. I just needed an animal so I just added one. So here we are. We've got this little this little cutie pie right here. I don't think we can filter. Um, Yeah we can't filter. Oh wait can we? Hold on. Where am I? Content? No. We can't. Okay. Content? I'm trying so hard. No. Okay. So we're just going to have to do this the old fashioned way. All right. So we're just going to scroll down here. So there are just three new items. Now, I don't use outfits for my pets pretty much ever. Only occasionally I will put like a sweater on my cat or something just because I think it's freaking cute. But I mostly do not use that. So I probably will not be using a whole lot of this. But the other stuff for the Sims, I will be using for sure. So we've got this little t-shirt here, and I'm going to have you kind of stand up so you can, you guys can kind of look at the whole the whole picture here. So it's just kind of, oh, that one's like a little ombre. Let's see, what is this one? It looks like there's a few ombres, and then there is this, which is like a little Day of the Dead. Is that what that is? It kind of looks like a Day of the Dead skull. Can you like sit properly? I don't know. It kind of, I could be wrong, but that's what it kind of looks like. That's the vibe I'm getting. Um, and then we've got... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's what it looks like. Then we've got this one right here, which is super cute. I feel like I should use this more, but I just don't think to put the clothes on the dogs. But now that I'm looking at them, they actually look really cute with clothes on. So who knows? Maybe I will use it more, but this, I am dead. I am absolutely dead. This is so cute. <laughs> A little sweater vest for your freaking dogs. Are you kidding? You're definitely going to be wearing one of these, my friend. <laughs> You're definitely wearing a sweater vest. I'm sorry, honey. Then we've also got these, which are little dresses with little bows. Like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Let's see what else we got here. We got just like a bunch of recolors here, all in different swatches. And oh my gosh, this is so funny. 
I don't know why. I just think it's so funny. This gives me major Clueless vibes. Like, this makes me think of Cher because she had this outfit. I swear. I'm losing my mind. Okay. So, there's just, like, a bunch of different swatches of this. And for some reason, I can't scroll down to see, like, the rest of the colors. Like, it's kind of hard for me to see on the screen. But, yeah, it's basically the same in just a bunch of different colors. And then we come over here. And there's, like, the little sleeper, which matches with the kids, which I think I didn't show you guys. So, we'll have to go back. Um, or did I? No, I didn't. I didn't because I thought that they didn't have anything. And that just reminded me that they do have a little sleeper like this. So, you can match the kiddos with this little pup right here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Is this a freezer bunny? It is. It's a freezer bunny for winter, which... There's been so many speculations about seasons, and this gives me major seasons vibes. Like, please, please bring me seasons. That's what I need in my life. This is really cute. Uh, let's see. What should we give you? We're going to give you this little sweater vest because, like, <laughs> why wouldn't I? And then we're going to just let you kind of relax. You can relax yourself. And then they also have a little hat. This hat right here. I totally forgot about. <laughs> and I'm just dying because it's it's a little bitty cowboy hat, like. It's so adorable. It's so cute. We're gonna have to give you this hat too. But like I said, probably will not use it too much because I just don't dress up my pets. I just don't. I just don't. Okay, let's see. Which one should we give you? We're just gonna give you the the regular old regular old hat. Well, don't let me forget because you guys can obviously remind me. We're gonna go to cats now. But uh, I need to go back and look at the little sleeper thing that we got for kids. Um and toddlers. So let's go to the pet clothing and it doesn't look like they get the hat. So that kind of sucks. I wish they would have got the hat too because uh, the hat's pretty cute. All right. So they have this thing here, which looks like we're going to have you stand up so we can look at this. I want to see what this looks like. Oh, okay. So this is like the little llama thing. I kind of am getting extreme vampire vibes and I'm digging it like I would probably use this one for sure if they have like a solid color which I have to look through and see so there's just a bunch of llamas and then what is this one is this a llama oh no what is that is that like a little dragon or something this is like look at that that is vampire vibes and I kind of love it I kind of freaking love it so there's just a bunch of those and then there are some plain colored ones with ones there are plain colored ones as well um, oh my gosh, right here. This one right here. Yep, you're wearing this, my friend. This is like a little vampire kitty. Like, this is perfect. So they also get the same thing that the dogs did. These little, you know, outfits here. The the share outfit is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> so cute. So we don't need to go through all of those because they're basically the same exact thing. Then we've got this here too. Same thing. T-shirt with the dog. All the same swatches it looks like. Yeah, that looks more like a skull, so that is definitely Day of the Dead. And then they have this that the dogs did not get. Okay, this is cute. <laughs> a little bitty bee costume. This is really cute. Then we've got these in a couple different swatches. A little butterfly. This one kind of looks like a fairy to me, but it still has the little bumblebee little thingies here. Then we also have this one as well, which is the sleeper that they have. So, same thing. Same thing as the dogs, but we're going to go back here to this one because that is what I want on my little vampire cat. And before I wrap this up, I want to run back to the kiddos to show you the outfits because I totally forgot about that. So we're going to have to do packs. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. We can do this. I am almost caught up, you guys, to all of the packs. I only have a couple more I have to purchase and I'm so excited. <laughs> all right. So we've got this little guy here. So the whole family can match. And I think it is so funny. So it looks like a little hamster on the back. And then we've got the little freezer bunny. I still like this one a lot. Then we've got the same thing with the pets, it looks like. Um, there's a couple more that they don't have. There's like this little cat one. And then, oh my gosh, this is really cute. I like this one a lot. Like I will use a lot of this stuff that, you know, not that we got a ton, but I will use most of the stuff that we got. This one is my is that a little alligator oh my god this is cute it's like a little alligator or a monster or something I like this one um but yeah I will use most of the stuff that they have here for the kids and stuff just because I really like it the few things that we got I love this is adorable I think I'm gonna keep that on him to be honest and I think the toddlers get the exact same thing so yes they do so they can be a little matchy matchy should we make them match 
I kind of want to give her shorter hair so that you can see like the back of it. So should we do that? Let's give her some shorter hair because, you know, that's what we're here for. Let's give her this. Then you can really see it. Except I want her, her dark hair back. But, okay. Do you want to play games like that? All right. Let me see here. How about this? This works. We'll give her that. That is super cute. So basically we got some pretty, pretty cute items. I think I know there's going to be a lot of like mixed opinions because I do agree. A lot of this stuff should have come with cats and dogs, but I'm just taking this as a Sims, like how Sims 3 store had their little, you know, content that was released, but you know, I'm not, I'm not going to get too into it because I just, I could ramble on and on about different things and why I like stuff and why I don't like stuff. But here we are. We are coming to an end to this and I'm going to have a build by little video coming up too because I wanted to do it separately so that it's not just like one hour long video because that's what it would be. So we have the cast video. We're going to do the build by video and then we're going to also do a gameplay video so that you guys can see the things that you can do and see the little critters that we get. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know anything you think about this pack. Let me know your opinions. You know, obviously be respectful towards each other because I know a lot of people have different opinions. So just be respectful if you guys are going to sound off in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you can be notified when I upload, which is every single day except for Sunday. And as usual, I love you all so very much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.